The peanut meme token on Solana is unfortunately crashing. The question is, does it make sense to buy this dip? Let's have a look at some on-chain analytics. Let's try to figure out what's currently going on. Who is buying? Who is selling here? Now, this is not the first video on peanut on this channel. We first talked about it nine days ago and that video outperformed the regular video. So an average video is here in gray. That peanut video is in blue. And so that was at a time when the price was still at 11 cents. Now, even with that crash of 28%, we are still at $1.70. We went up by more than 1,500%. And so I cover various meme coins regularly on this channel and I try to be early. If you don't want to miss the next peanut, feel free to subscribe. But let's go on with the day. What we've got over here is the number of first time traders versus recurring traders per day on peanut. What we've got on the right is the number of transactions per day. And of course, initially we have seen a nice growing investor base. The growth slowed somewhat on the 4th of November and the 7th of November was the first day where the number of recurring traders outpaced the number of first time traders. Now that was over here and initially we didn't see that much more appreciation, but then came the Binance listing and subsequent other listings, which propelled the price further up another 10x. Now I always like to look at trading volume and I always like to look at who's driving the trading volume. On the left side, we see the US dollars that are traded on chain on Solana per day. On the right side, we see this normalized per day to 100%. And we are splitting up the trading volume into different cohorts. We look at the whale wallets. That's the wallets that have more than $100,000 worth of the token. We look at large retail that's up to $100,000, medium sized retail up to 10,000 and small retail up to $1,000. And clearly we can see our two adoption waves again, but what we also notice is that the whales and large retail tend to make less and less transactions on chain. Especially medium sized retail takes over more and more of that trading volume. So those are the wallets between a thousand and ten thousand dollars. Now with the Binance listing, a lot of the tokens got moved from the self custody. So from the Phantom wallet to Binance to the centralized exchange. Thus, we see how the number of holders actually went down quite a bit. Now we are segregating here again between different wallet cohorts. On the left side, we've got the number of wallets that have at least a thousand tokens at the current price of peanut. That's one thousand seven hundred forty dollars. For the chart in the middle, we go another 10x. So that's now $17,000 worth of the token. And on the right chart, yet another 10x. So that's $170,000 worth of the token. Among small retail, roughly one third of holders have either sold or sent their tokens to Binance. Among the medium sized wallets, it's roughly half of the holders that have sold or moved it to Binance. And among the whales, it's more than half. What can we learn from this? It seems like retail isn't selling or isn't sending that much to Binance, while the whales are very much active. I believe those charts transfer again one very clear learning in crypto. The whales tend to buy very early, while small retail tends to buy after a price rally has happened. It's very important to buy meme coins when the market cap is still small enough that there's sufficient upside potential. Now, how much more upside potential is there for Peanut? We come to that question in a second, but first of all, have a look at the selling volume today. So of course we are down in the last 24 hours, that's now 20%. And that's because there's 51% more selling volume than buying volume. However, check out the number of buyers versus sellers. There are way more sellers now than buyers. In other words, the people that are currently buying, they tend to buy with larger amounts. Even though the price has rallied that much, and even though a lot of the sellers should have a lot of money to sell, and their selling position should be rather large, the buyer orders are actually larger. It appears as if the big hands are buying. And so this is then the evolution of a token that goes through a listing like this, that goes through the adoption of a centralized exchange where all the centralized exchanges scoop up the tokens. Check this out here on the left. This shows how much of the token ownership is held by the whale wallets. So the wallets that have at least $100,000 worth of the token. And this increased gradually over time. And now pretty much all of the tokens are just held by the whales. Yes, there are still a lot of retail investors and a lot of medium sized investors, etc. right? The percent of those wallets is still high, but what they actually own in reality relative to the total supply is insignificant. Now, what's the upside here? Let's simply compare market caps of various meme coins. Peanut is now at a market cap of 1.6 billion. If it was to double, it gets close to dog with head 
if it was to triple, it's rivaling Pepe. A 10x would put it above Shiba Inu. It would make it the second largest of the meme coins. That's, I believe, rather unlikely. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not against meme coin trading, but I am looking for the right risk to reward. And when we buy a meme coin, meme coins can easily crash 50, 60, 70%. If that's the case, we also want to have the multiple X return upside. If a meme coin that we buy can't do another 10x, but others that have similar risk can easily do that because of their smaller market caps, why not take those smaller market caps? The problem is always how can we find those right tokens? I think there's already a pretty good filter because right now the ecosystem that tends to trend the most is the pump fun ecosystem. It's the launch pad of meme coins on Solana. Check out the performance in the last seven days across crypto categories. The pump fun ecosystem outperformed everything else. We now see the base meme coins starting to catch up as well, but still within pump fun, peanut is very, very large. It's almost double the size of the next contender gold. And when we got 10 places down, we are already at a market cap that's only one tenth of number one. So something like Fred could do a 10x, something like Peanut, probably not. Now, how can we buy something like Peanut early? How can we buy this at a few cents, not at a few dollars? I think the answer in this lies in wallet tracking. So the blockchain is transparent. We know what wallet is buying and selling. The art is in finding the wallets that matter. And so, for example, here in our alerts channel, we have seen how Crypto Banter bought the Peanut token for three cents. Crypto Banter is one of the largest crypto channels on youtube they've got 1.1 million subscribers and we've got 33 of their wallets we found this again through on-chain analytics right we tried to figure out what kind of wallets could match crypto banter we tried to reconstruct transactions we've also got wallets by alex becker he's got 1.48 million subscribers and we've got 12 of his wallets and so i really believe in this strategy i think it's way better to buy whatever influencers are buying it's way better to buy whatever successful traders are buying it's way better to do that than simply just to look at a random list of tokens and buy whatever. There's a tutorial course on how to find influencer wallets, on how to track those influencer wallets that we get alerts whenever they buy and sell, and how to then also interpret the alerts that we are getting. It's all part of premium. Of course, premium is not just about wallet tracking. It's also about on-chain analytics, right? The charts that we looked at today. It's also about risk mitigation, about portfolio diversification, etc. Once we've got the trading signals, we also need to discuss them. Of course, we need to figure out when to buy, when to sell. For that, we've got dedicated altcoin chats in premium as well. So feel free to check it out. It's currently 125 US dollars per month. There's also a one week money back guarantee. So in case you don't like premium, in case you don't make money, simply just message me within the first first seven days and I will fund you 100%. There's really zero risk for you. And so do I believe that Peanut can recover from this dip? Yes, I think so because the whales continue to buy. Is it the best risk to reward bet in crypto right now? I'm not so sure. I think the best rewards lie in the smaller cap altcoins that are currently been bought by the influencers, by the top traders. If you got some value out of this video, feel free to subscribe. I publish you exactly. A like would be very much appreciated as well. Helps the channel grow. See you in the next video or see you in premium. Cheers.